Let's learn how to make a Scoo Shake on Premiere Pro without plugins. These two examples that you are currently seeing are part of my preset editing pack and it's simple as drag and drop. So here are my raw clips with no Scoo Shake. Now if I head over and I've searched for Scoo Shake, by adding Scoo Shake 1 onto my first clip, I have saved minutes of time. I can also use this on an adjustment layer. So if I create one and add it on top of my second clip, and add on the second one, so Scoo Shake 2. I have now got two variants of a Scoo Shake. One that sort of bounces towards the left and the second one, which bounces towards the right side. The link is in the description below, but let's learn how to make it. First, you want to nest your clip. So select it, right click, head over to nest and click OK. Now search for the transform effect, which is underneath distort. So drag it onto your clip, head into effect controls and set a keyframe for the scale to 125 at the beginning. And then head all the way to the end and reset this back to 100. Now open up your graph and graph like I do. So grab the second keyframes handle and pull it all the way to the left, making sure it's on level, not too high or too low, just right there. Now it should look like a very smooth slope. Play it back to double check. So mine's looking good. Now what we need to do is move on to the skew setting. So keyframe it at eight at the beginning, like so. Head to the end and set this to zero. Graph this one as well, just like how we did for the scale. So pull it all the way to the left on level right there. Keyframe the skew axes at the beginning and make sure that this is zero. Now head to the end and change this to 180 like that open up the graph and one more time just like before pull the handle all the way to the left and slightly down there you go so far so good however i want to add some motion blur so if you scroll down and increase the shutter angle so what i'm actually going to do is max it out to 360 you can see we've now got motion blur visible at the top and the bottom in fact across the whole clip so if i turn it off this is how it looked before and after with motion blur. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to do for the shake. Now we need to add an exposure or flash effect. So search for Lumetri color, this one underneath color correction and add it onto your clip. Head back into effect control, scroll all the way down. In fact, you can close the transform effect if it helps. So I'm just going to click on that tiny arrow to collapse it. And underneath Lumetri color, open up basic correction, scroll down and you want to find exposure. Keyframe this to, let's go two at the beginning or brighter if you need to. So if your clip is too dark, you might have to go something for something like four, for example. However, two works fine for me. So I'm gonna head to the end and set it back to zero, open up the graph and just like before, put it all the way to the left like that. And there you go, well done. You now have a skew shake on Premiere Pro. A huge thank you to my members for their monthly support as always.